and you're watching math tutorial. In this video, we will learn numbers to 100,000. In the previous lesson, you have learned numbers to 10,000. We will now extend to 100,000. Let us start by using the number buttons. How many ones do you see? We've got 10 ones, and you know that 10 ones is equal to 10 ones is equal to 1 ten. How many tens do you see? We've got 10 tens, and you know that 10 tens is equal to 100. How many hundreds do we need to make 1,000? We need 10 of our hundreds to make 1,000. So 10 pieces of the hundreds is equal to 1,000. How about if we have 10 pieces of the thousands or if we have 10 one thousands? What is it equal to? It's equal to 10,000. And if we have 10 pieces of the 10,000, what number are we going to get? We are going to get 100,000. Let us count in thousand. We've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. What's the next one? 6,000. 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. That's why we said a while ago, if we got 10 of the thousands, we will get 10,000. Now, let's count by 10 thousands. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. What's after 50,000? 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000. And do we say 10,000 again? No. We have to say 100,000. And we know that 100,000 has how many zeros? Yes, it got five zeros. So, 10 pieces of the 10,000 make 100,000, wherein we get five zeros. Let us understand this number using a number buttons in the place value chart. We have 65,743. The digit in the ones place is three. Therefore, we have three buttons in the ones place. And this three stands for three ones. And we know that the digit three is in the ones place. And its value is three. Now, double check. Do we really have three in the ones place? Let's count. One, two, three. Correct. So we've got three ones. Next, the digit four is in the tens place and it stands for four tens. And four tens, since it's in the tens place, then the place value is tens. And four tens is equal to 40. The value of four tens is 40. Now, since we have four in a tens place, do we have four number buttons? Do we have four tens? Yes. Therefore, we have four tens. Next, which digit is in the hundreds place? Seven. Seven is in the hundreds place. Therefore, it stands for seven hundreds. And seven hundreds can be written as seven zero zero. The value of seven hundreds is seven hundred. 
Now double check. How many hundreds should we have here? We have seven as well. Next, which digit is in the thousands place? Thousand is the fourth from the right. So we've got the digit five in the thousands place. We know that since it's the digit five, then we have five thousands. It stands for five thousands. And the value of five thousands is equal to five zero zero or five thousand. So how many thousands should we have here? We should have five thousands. Do we have? Correct. Now which digit is in the ten thousands place? Yes, the digit 6 is in the ten thousands place. And it stands for six ten thousands. And the value of six ten thousands is 60 and three more zeros. Or we read it as 60,000. Therefore, if we want to write it in expanded notation, 65,000, don't forget the comma, 745. Keep in mind, 40 doesn't have letter U. Let's try 27,396. Which digit is in the ones place? The digit 6. And since we've got the digit 6 in the 1's place, it stands for 6 1's. And what's the value of 6 1's? It is still 6. Do we have 6 1's in our place value chart? Correct. So this is 6. Next, which digit is in the 10's place? The digit 9. So... It stands for 9 tenths. And the value of 9 tenths is equal to 90. Let us check. Do we have 9 tenths here? Yes, we've got 9 tenths. Next, which digit is in the hundreds place? The digit 3. It's in the hundreds place. So, it stands for 3 hundreds and how to write its value three with two zeros or three hundred so do we have three hundreds here yes next which digit is in the thousands place the digit seven and it stands for seven thousands and seven thousands, the value is seven with the three zeros or seven thousand. So do we have seven thousands here? Correct. And the last one, which digit is in the ten thousand? The digit two. So the digit two stands for two thousands. And how to write its value? It is 20 with a three zeros or 20,000. So how many 10,000s do we have? We've got two. So as you can see, 27,396. Now how do we write it in expanded notation? To write in expanded notation, we start with 20,000. So, 20,000 plus 7,000 plus 300 plus 90 plus 6 is equal to, don't forget the comma, 300 and 90-6.
there you go. Let us find the missing number below. In 20,974, the digit in the thousands place is, remember this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So which digit is it? The digit zero. In 42,653, the digit blank is in the ten thousands place which is in the 10,000 here, the digit 4. In 63,097, the value of the digit 6 is, keep in mind that the digit 6 is in which place value? Yes, it is in 10,000. So, it is 60,000. In 56,301, the value of the digit 3 is, since it's in the hundreds place, then the value is 300. In 70,569, the digit 7 stands for, since again it's in the ten thousands place, then it stands for 7, 10, 000. In 81,465, the digit 1 stands for, since it's in the thousands place, then it stands for 1,000. Oops, remember, this is more than 1, so it should be 7 ten thousands. Find the value of the underlined digit below. Let's take a look at 27,068. We know that the digit 6 is in the tens place. So what's the value of the digit 6? We've got 6 tens, so the value is 60. How about in 86,027? What is the value of the digit 6? We know that the digit 6 is living in the thousands place. So what is the value of the digit 6? It's 6,000. Let's try the last one. 62,789. The digit 6 is in the 10,000s place. Therefore, the value is 60,000. What do you observe? As the number goes to the left side, it becomes greater number because of the place value house. And at the same time, we can see that the same digit 6 can be a different value according to its place. Now we have learned numbers to 100,000 how to write it in words using the place value charts and number buttons. Thanks everyone for learning with Mentari Tutor video.